friends and welcome back to another video so today it's going to be a very different video fossil video so it's been a while since I did any fossil uh, related videos so as you can see this is my workplace the place where I spend most of my time during the week and there is no fossils around and so I'm kind of well uh, I'm kind of hoping that I have the chance to do any fossil hunting videos again but uh, well when the opportunity arrives I will do that but now I want to do something so I bought this this glass container as you can see in here so the purpose of this is to fill this with uh, some broken bits of corals and some moss and some plants and do something uh, that has nature living nature inside so it can catch a lot of light in here so we'll see what we can do so friends, as you know, I collect a lot and a lot of fossils during my adventures. So uh, I have a lot of broken pieces of corals outside in my backyard. So I just uh, I just kept the, the nicest ones in, the, in my collection. So I have a few uh, nice ones in here. But the other broken pieces that are outside, for me it's a little bit of a shame. Because, well, I, I want to see if I can do uh, something cool with them. And that is one of the reasons that drive me to do this uh, project. So let's get started and be right back. So these are the bits that I sorted from my mountain of broken fossils that is laying around in the middle of my backyard, my little jungle now. <laughs> uh, well, I uh, picked these ones because I think that if I glue them with some special glue I could make some sort of a wall inside of that tube and I think with this uh, nice texture uh, it's going to look nice I hope so um, well let's get inside and do some work with these bits that I have in here uh, if I need more I will pick uh, more uh, that I have over there so let's get started so before I started I want to tell you guys I'm going to be use the silicon based glue uh, this is proper for terrarian and vivarian uh, it doesn't hurt uh, the organisms that probably is going to, are going to be living inside uh, so this one is dry fast uh, dry fast and it's proper for this kind of work that we are going to do so another thing that I want to tell you guys this is not the first time that I tried to do this uh, such a large uh, container so the other times I bought the the container and the glass was too, too thin and this one is very thick so my hopes is that if some something fell uh, during the construction the glass could handle so uh, the other times that I did this it doesn't work out okay so I probably I'm going to put the videos at the end of the of this one for your amusement so for me it wasn't funny because I broke a large container of and I, I already worked a lot in some of the of the the vivarians that that I plan on doing uh, but anyways uh, another thing so it's it's much easier to work like that on the or horizontal uh, because I'm going to try to glue uh, the fossils the the corals uh, in this in this direction so it's more easier and we have a more easier access So as you can see I put some cement, this is not uh, gypsum, it's really cement and I put some expensive foam in here in order to secure some of the fossils that were inside and they were about to fall off so that way I guess it could stay a little bit more secure 
now I have my my mush in here I want to apply this in those crevices this is going to get messy so I have a glove um, I'm not really sure if this is going to turn out as I planned but well uh, I put this this coral the fossil of coral uh, on this side like that because I want to make some sort of a cup or some sort of a place to hold some some flower some big flower or some plant but anyway so let's start with the dirty job now so I will uh, show you when it's finished so uh, the first layer of clay or mud as you like to call it uh, uh, it's applied so I'm going to start to apply some 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 moss uh, while the dirt is still very very wet to see if the moss adheres to the, the dirt and the mud and let's hope that everything turns out okay so this is a little bit of a field trip so this place is already well known by me because we have a lot of moss in here and some specimens that we can use in our vivarium but keep in mind that we are in the middle of the summer so the moss is not very visible and the few patches that we can find they they are still very very dry but i believe if uh, we kept them in the moist place they will uh, be back alive uh, so i will try to collect as many as i can so there's a few patch on that rock over there and on this rock also in here so i'm going to try to collect oh i missed this this bit over here so i will try to uh, collect a few bits but not all of the moss so because i want the nature to regenerate so let's continue and see if we can find nice specimens in here so my friends here we are back at my place so i managed to bring some uh some specimens of moss to put in the vivarium so uh, I spray them with some uh, clean water, so not the tap water, uh, because normally the water that we can found in our places is full of chlor chlorine. Chlorine, I guess that's the correct name in English. And the mineral water doesn't contain any of those chemicals. And as you can see, the the um, well, the the the, um, the moss. The moss is, is very, very green already and I just did this for a couple of hours. So I just spray them with, with this, so like that, just a gentle spray just to get them a little bit uh, moist and they started to come alive as you can see. So um, besides that, I bring along some dirt that from, from that place so i i made some sort of mud because i'm going to apply in the places where there is some crevices and holes in order to secure the moss inside of the of the vivarium so we have a lot to do so let's continue so i must say that i'm pretty pleased with overall uh workings of this so I need to uh, disconnect the lights because I wasn't able to see with the reflections of the glass where I was putting the, the moss. Now I am seeing that I already put enough. So I'm going to let it uh, sit a little bit and I will try this uh, tomorrow. That's about it my friends. So now I'm going to let it uh, stay like that for a while so outside to catch a little bit of a sun but well I'm going to add more spe specimens but this is so far it's the 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 best that I can do right now so this is a working pro progress so I'm I'm seeing some of the moss peeling down and some water well I need to put this in the horizontal for the moss oh oh for the moss not to fall but this is just for you guys to see the overall result so friends this is still not finished and as you can see uh, there's a lot of condensation inside of the, the glass tube. I left this, uh, this built outside in my balcony 
to see if the moss uh, adheres properly to the the, the corals, uh, the fossil corals that are inside. So my guess it's uh, all uh, starting to look good. Uh, but since the condensation is a problem and if you want to show this to your friends or someone that appears in your house, it's a little bit messy trying to to clean all of this condensation which is normal and is healthy because the plants are, are recycling the water uh, but uh, I try to do something a little bit different instead of trying to clean this with your arm or with some sort of a pole because the the tube is very very long so I remember this so I grab one of these uh, magnets this is from um, an hard drive from a computer so I managed to take this out so you need to be very careful with this and I have this this well this sort of uh, piece of uh, metal so this as you can see they join together so what I'm going to do is to wrap this magnet with this piece of a cloth and put it in one part uh, that was that is a little bit hidden inside of the tube and then I will try to uh, to move it around and cleaning clean this for you guys to see so this is a uh, one way I will see if this works because I think it's more practical and we can leave, leave it uh, well in a place that is not visible and you can have a lid so I still don't have a lid this was covered with the plastic in order to keep the moist from from uh, leaving so let's see if this works so I managed to wrap this um, this cloth around the magnet so I put some Gorilla Tape to just to make sure that the cloth uh, don't come out of the magnet I gave it a couple of turns just to make this side very fluffy because this is going to be uh, attached to the glass inside so now let's see if this uh, this uh, well this idea uh, works or not so I uh, end up using another neodymium magnet on this side because uh, well the glass is too thick and it wasn't properly magnetized so as you can see I can move it around and I am cleaning the glass so so gently see it's a way of cleaning the inside of the glass <laughs> well this is uh, is working okay so okay now I'm going to clean all of the inside so for you guys to see it that is started to look beautiful so we have the fossils of corals inside we have the the flower I put an uh, upside down coral in there so it's looking cool so let me clean all of the inside for you guys to see it the nice results so I must say that I'm pretty pleased with the way that my little uh, idea worked in terms of cleaning a little bit the inside of the tube as you can see the moss is uh, growing fine inside we still can see the the bits of corals the fossil corals that are inside so we have uh, this onion comb pattern on this side I put this uh, coral upside down to, to put some plants over here I was afraid that this plant wouldn't make it because the leaves were starting to turn a little bit yellow but then I look down and I see that the roots are starting to come out from the dirt so it, it's searching for water or some more dirt I don't really know so I have a lot still a lot to do inside of this this tube so I have to put some drainage uh, some rocks on the bottom to keep the the water a little bit uh, still and a little bit more dirt so I will try to add a little bit more of uh, plants so more or less like these plants over here I'm a little bit concerned about this moss because we can see that inside of the of the this uh, greenish so I'm not really sure about this one that is in here we have some bits that could be dried I really don't know so uh, overall look it's looking fine so I still uh, need to make a lid for this so I have that plastic lid, ba plastic bag but it's not okay to to have this in my in my office with the plastic bag so I need to put some LEDs on the top 
uh, I think it could be uh, cool uh, as well. So uh, this is just a quick update. So friends, um, I add a little bit more of uh, plants inside. So I add this ivy over here. So, and I put some drainage. Uh, so I add a layer of, of fossils, small fossils of nata and some small gastropods and some shells and another bit of coral as well. So I add a couple of inches of dirt for the ivy to grow uh, steadily on, on the, the wall of corals, fossil corals. So my guess this is, this is looking cool. So now I have to put this in my workplace and see how this uh, stays. So let me just see how this is going to stay in my desk. So friends, here we are in my desk. So this is the end result. So I must say that I'm very happy and well, this far exceeds all of my expectations. So we have the ivy over there. We have uh, the, the fossils. We can see the fossils, the favite fossils. We have uh, flowers growing in, in the inside. We have all of the moss, so I can add some some nice uh, plants in the future. But I still need to to build the, the lid with the LEDs. Now I have just a, a light on top to illuminate everything. So uh, guys, I, I will try to add. I'm going to add the the disasters that <laughs> that I made while trying to do some construction like that. So I must say that you need to be very careful if the the glass is thin. Don't use uh, neodymium uh, magnets because they are too strong and they can break the glass. That's what end up uh, happening in the other in the other videos that I try to do. But looking like well, this is truly truly amazing. So friends, if you like, don't forget to put a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next movie. Bye. So friends, I was starting to pour the dirt on the crevices and well, it happened a disaster so the glass cracked and everything is gone. So now I'm not really sure what I'm going to do so I'm going to put this outside and I'm going to try to reassess what I'm going to do from here because it's glass everywhere, I have to sweep the floor. Uh, so what a disappointment after all of this work. Okay, stay tuned, friends. Hello! Kiki Kiki! Oh, he wants to appear in the video as well. <laughs> Be careful with my fossils.